Hello YouTubers, I'm here today to replace the lights on a 2007 Lincoln Navigator. I have the original lights installed. I bought them from HID Concept about a year and a half ago. And that has been the only company that has been able to supply me with light bulbs that work. So I decided to get an upgrade. And I got these lights from HID Concept. They're the Philips the Extreme Vision. Now, these are supposed to provide up to 50% more power, I mean, light, and let's try them out. So first thing we gotta do is remove the headlight unit. For that, you have to remove this bolt right here, which I already did for the sake of time. And to remove them, all you do is pull this way. First, make sure it's unhooked from here. And then you're gonna pull like this, put a little bit of effort into it. As you can see, it's out. I'm gonna take a rag. You can hand me that, Michael, please. Thank you. Okay. Put it right here so I can rest the headlight unit. And then remove all the connections. Just, just twist. Have to apologize, it's a little cold today here in New York City. All right, and this is the connector for the HID. You just push this pin and pull. Here we go. Okay, so now we have the headlight unit out. And what you're gonna do is remove this right here, this rubber piece. Just pull up back on it. And this is what the bulb is. This is the original bulb. It's an Osram bulb. And you're gonna need a tool like this. This is a Torx T9. And you need something slim like this because it needs to go in here, fit in here to remove the screws. And you might wanna go with something magnetized. That way it could hold the screw since it's so tight in there. Okay, so there's a screw over here. And you want to be gentle with this. And you want to hold the screw as you're pulling it out like this. So you don't lose it. Put it somewhere. What I usually do is that I take that same plastic cup, put it there, that way I'm going to misplace it. And now this is the tough one to get. This is tight over here. Same thing applies here. You want to hold it with your finger. As you're pulling it out. Here we go. Okay. Now that we have the screws out, you have to be really gentle pulling out the light bulb out. You don't want to touch it with your hands. And you have to twist it a bit so that the cable that's in there could give you enough slack to pull the whole unit out so what you're gonna do is hold it and pull it and twist it a little bit and you expose it like this you don't want to touch the light bulb so then you just remove it from the connection like this the connector just pull on it There we go, that was a little hard to get. Okay, now this piece right here, this bracket, you have to reuse this bracket with the new ball. So it's very important that you don't lose this part. At first, it's going to be really tight, so you might have to pry it open a little bit. Pry open this pins right here. And since I've done mine a couple of times before, this one comes out easy. You wanna make sure you save this piece. And if this bulb's still good, you might want to save it or sell it or whatever you want to do with it. And this is the original one. It has that green, as you can see. All right, so now this is the new bulb from HID Concept. This is the Philips Extreme Vision. And this is a D3S. This is the connection for the navigator. They also do sell for all the brands, other cars. 
and they're a very good store I'm not affiliated with them but they work for me I mean their products work for me so let's take this baby out all right once again you don't want to touch the actual bulb and if you, in case you forget how this piece goes in is he goes to the opposite side of the connector so he goes like this okay there we go okay so now that you have your bracket back in place right there's a cable that's in here it's a black cable you have to be careful with that when you put in the bulb in that you don't damage that wire so here we go the same thing applies you have to be gentle with this wire so put it in you connect the first make sure it's nice and then have to put it in the hole really gentle make sure it goes in that's what she said all right and then once it's in there want to make sure it's secure there we go make sure that it aligns so that the screws go going now we're ready to put the screws in now here you have to be kind of precise or should I say you have to be precise putting the screws in here we go one on this side is easier let's start with this one Now the other one, this is the tough one. Okay. It's almost in. I think the, cable, the black cable is on the way. <laughs> Let's see. This black cable is a pain. I'm gonna have to pull it back out. Okay. So now, make sure both sides are tight. And that's it. Now we put the cup back on. You don't want any water getting in there. Or snow or dirt. Okay. Now we are going to put it back on the truck. All right. And same thing applies here. All the stuff's backwards. You're gonna put the lights where they belong. I think this one goes here. I always forget. But you know, it's not it's not that hard to do. This one goes here, I believe. Mm -hmm. This one goes over here. Doesn't fit now. <laughs> there he goes. All right. So now it's in place. And just push the headlight unit back in place. And then put the screws back. I should I say the bolts? And that's it. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the headlight on the other side, on the opposite side. And you should be done. I'm not going to record that process for the sake of time. Okay, and then I'll be back with a demonstration of the lights. Okay, cut mic. As you can see on top, we have the original bulbs that come with the navigator. And on the bottom we have the Philips Extreme Vision 
D3S and you can see the difference even during the day you can see a difference there's definitely more projection and unfortunately here in New York City at night I was trying to get a couple of driving shots and it, it wouldn't do it justice there's too much light going on but this is definitely there's definitely a difference as you can see here on the left we have the Philips Extreme Vision and on the right is the OSRAM that come originally stock with the Navigator. This bulbs definitely enhance the look of the Navigator and there's definitely more projection. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, here in New York City there's too much light going on. So driving a driving shot wasn't able to capture the beauty of these light bulbs so I left the link in the description box where you could get these bulbs and I'll leave you with a couple of more still shots thanks for watching